Oh my god! Yo! Right off the bat, I see Louis Vuitton! And I've invited my friend over and I'm gonna surprise her. Yo, yo, yo! No way! How much do these cost? What is up everybody? It's your boy Alden F back with another high beast video. And this video is a special one. Why? Because high beast items are always some of the most expensive items ever. Your Louis Vuittons, your Supremes, your Dior's always cost thousands and thousands of them. And I don't have that kind of money to spend. So what do I do? I go on Reddit. So I went to some of the best replica subreddits. I did my research. To my surprise, I came across some website. At first, it looked like a legit website, but had all crazy replica items. It had Rolex, it had Supremes, Yeezy Jordan ones. Obviously, I'm not gonna go individually and pick one item. You know what I did? I thought to myself, why don't I let the Chinese replica sellers do it? I got their WhatsApp and I told them, listen, surprise me. I'll pay whatever amount it is, but just don't scam me. I said, don't worry, pay through PayPal. So I paid about $350 as you read by the title. So without further ado, let's unbox replica mystery box. Let's go. Okay, we got our package here. Look, 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 look. It's not about the packaging. It's all about what's inside the box. Enough of the talk. Let's open this bad boy up. Up. I think we need that. Oh my god! Yo, I see some items of clothing in here. Yo! Right off the bat, I see Louis Vuitton. I mean, I did WhatsApp the replica company. I told them that I like LV. Well, oh, I've seen what legit LV looks like, and I'm pretty sure it's sunglasses right now. I hope it's the millionaires. By far, my favorite LV sunglasses. Already off to a great start. If you like LV, smash the like button. Okay. Got the packaging open. <laughs> Guys, this reminds me of actual LVs. This is not a joke. Inside the box, what do we have? Another box. But this one's far more detailed, yo. Yeah, I don't think we need that anymore. I'll keep that aside. This is my first item. We got Louis Vuitton, but then the packaging is hella detailed. Look at that. You think they knew I was a content creator and sent me like actual LV? I don't think replica companies are that nice. By the way, magnetic box. For fakes, these are crazy. Yo, I'm impressed already. Good job. I see the glasses in here. I can't really tell if they're millionaires or not, but before that, we got Louis Vuitton dust bag. The glasses were supposed to come in these. Okay. Oh, whoa. This is interesting. I have never seen this before with any replica company. Microfiber cloth. Louis Vuitton. I mean, it's not from Louis Vuitton because this is a replica, in case you forgot. Exactly what you've been waiting for. The glasses. Stop. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? I don't know what these are called exactly. These are insane. They feel super high quality. It feels weird saying that about a Chinese product. It'll only be right if I put these on. But before I put these on, I'm just gonna sit them down. Guess what's in this box? Authenticity card. I think if you shop at LV, you get something like this. It's pretty cool to have. I mean, it looks legit. It has all the branding information, but that's not important. You guys get to see the glasses and my... God, this is sort of like a gradient colorway. It starts off clear and then it fades into black. Are these women's? They knew I was a man. When I was talking to the seller, he called me bro multiple times. So why would he send me women's sunglasses? Listen, if they look feminine on me, I'm gonna be mad. I'm looking at myself right now. Yo, I feel like a rapper. I bet you 100%. I live in Dubai. If I were to walk, walk on the street with these, no one's gonna be able to catch me out. No one. I mean, look at it. They feel super high quality. They feel like Louis Vuitton. But yo, first item, already off to a great start. Louis Vuitton gradient sunglasses. I don't know the exact model of these, but these are phenomenal. They even have like a little like stone over here with the LV monogram branding. Insane, insane stuff. Wow. Okay, we're gonna put that aside. Now, we're off to item number two. <laughs> what is this? Okay, these are fans. Rude. Guys, you wouldn't be able to tell this is from China. It has all the branding information, some European language. I'm guessing Rude is like a European brand, but these are fans. I think right now, if I'm not mistaken, Rude's one of the hottest brands in clothing. So let's, let's see what we got in here. I wish you were with me right now to feel these pants. The quality. Do you think they send me legit stuff? I'm really confused right now. I don't know. Look, look at this. Wow. Oh. drawstring shorts. Perfect for the summer. Look at that. 
it says Rude in the front. Forgive me if I'm butchering the name, but I think it says Rude, R-H-U-D-E. I think that's Rude. I don't know. I don't know. I never bought Rude in my life, but I know it's a high fashion brand. That's all I know. That's all I know. This is pretty insane. So it has all the right branding tags. It says that it's legit. It has a branding tag here. Now, the only way you would be able to tell that it's from China is this yellow Chinese tag. If you're planning to give this to anyone, make sure you get rid of this weird, weird Chinese tag. It's not a good look. This is how you would know it's straight from China. All right, we get rid of that. We don't want any of that. Some rude, I think these are like swim trunks if I'm not mistaken. These even have zippers on them. And these are not cheap zippers. These are metal heavy zippers. The zippers have rude branding on it too. The drawstrings feel extremely high quality, man. I think I might be getting more than what I paid for, no lie. Guys, let me know what I do with this stuff because all these replica stuff that I do, I don't encourage replica stuff. Let me do it. I'm here to educate you on how crazy the replica market is, yo. Maybe at the end of this, I'm gonna try the whole outfit if they gave me a whole outfit because I do see another item of clothing. I see a t-shirt in there, but enough of this. I'm gonna put this back in this little Ziploc bag. Any of you want any of the clothing or the glasses or anything that I show on camera, go in my description, go to my Instagram, give me a follow, send me a DM and I might send one of you stuff. So if you really want this, you know, just go on my Instagram, send me a DM or comment down below which item you want. I might reach out to you and I might just send one of these items out to you myself. But I just feel generous right now. Yeah, let's move on. Moving on. I spy my little eye another item from Rude. This time, it's not a jacket, it's not a sweater, it's not another pair of pants, but it is a t-shirt. Yo, first impressions. Again, we have the root branding over here. Same as the one that I got with the pants, but this feels like heavy cotton. It does not feel cheap at all. For something that was made in China, try to replicate a big brand, usually they get a lot of things wrong. <laughs> oh my God. This is insane. If you thought the front was good, no freaking way. It starts off with some root branding. It has a little logo over here. And this is the small version on the left side and it's just maximized at the back. Look at the details on this. Yeah. The print feels fine, the cotton's heavy. You would tell this is a fake. If someone ever gives you something from Rude and if it has a Chinese tag like this, that's how you know it's fake. If any product of yours, whether it's sneakers, whether it's clothing, whether it's sunglasses, if it has a tag like this and it has some Chinese branding on it, that's your number one tell sign. Get rid of this. Okay, we don't need that. This is a root branding. I'm gonna put this aside. We got shades, we got a pair of pants, and now we got a cool t-shirt. I might just try it out for the fun of the video and then anyway decide to give it away. So smash the like button, comment down below if you want any of these items. I'll give them to you. I've never seen this in any mystery box before. Rude t-shirt, not bad, not bad at all. Rude is not a brand that I wear, so mm, I don't know. <laughs> Guys, the reason I'm smiling right now, the reason I can't stop smiling right now is our last and final item of the $350 mystery box. It's not Louis Vuitton, it is in fact Dior. I have with me a Dior shopping bag. This looks like a legit Dior shopping bag. And what's inside? Nothing. Because, here's the star of the show. We have some Dior sneakers. These aren't the Nike Air Dior's. These are Dior low top car furfo black sneakers. By the way, one of the biggest mistakes fake companies make is they always butcher the box. It's all, it always comes damaged. There is slight damage on this one. But listen, I'm not complaining, yo. And this is just like the icing on the cake. So let's open this bad boy up. That's the top cover. I did not expect that. I don't know if you guys see what I'm looking at. Dior branded dust bags for the sneakers to go in. Super soft, has Dior written over here. Not only do we have the dust bags, we have a Dior receipt from China. It has a sales associate's name on it. It has the price, it has the tax, 
It has every single detail. Replica Dior receipt from Hong Kong. It's 10,000 Hong Kong currency. You have the sales operator, her name is Rita. And also we have some more. So this is the envelope, the envelope the receipt comes in. Dior envelope, I'm sure you don't want to see any of this, but it's cool to have. So far, we have a Dior shopping bag, a replica receipt, and we have an envelope to put the receipt in. This is still a fake item. This is still a replica. And the dust bag is just the icing on the cake. None of this matters if the shoes are bad quality. If the shoes suck, all these details just go in the bin. It means nothing. So let's open this up. Here, wrapping paper, nothing too crazy. Look at these bad boys. We got Dior low top black sneakers. In terms of quality, these feel absolutely legit, solid. We have the gum sole. We have the black leather all across the shoe and we have the Dior oblique over here. This has to be 3M, has to be reflective. Let's test that out right now. This is shoe number one, shoe number two. If I were to show this to anyone, they would think that these are real Dior sneakers. The smell, it doesn't smell like China. Okay, I'm gonna switch on my flash. Yo. They got it right. This, my friend, this Dior monogram or oblique, whatever you want to call it, is reflective. I'm gonna pop the picture here. Yes, so they got the reflective right, they got the gum soles right. Yeah, I'm at a loss for words. You know what? Why don't we, why don't we try this whole outfit? I'm gonna change into the replica outfit right now. And this is the only time you'll ever catch me in some replica goods. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. First impressions. You can't even tell that it's a replica. And I don't mean to say that because I spent $350 on this. It's the fact that cotton is so good. The pants are premium. The zippers are heavy. And if you're wondering what the sneakers look like, have a look. Guys, these are a close-up of what the Dior's look like on feet. Ignore my weird white socks, but wow, look at the details. Yo, anyone want these sneakers? By the way, this is reflective. This is the reflective part I was talking to you about. Guys, the quality is unreal. We have the gum soles. And this is what a why. Yo, if you want these pa this pair, let me know. I might just send it over to you. But this is what it looks like on the feet. Hmm. Nice. You saw me try out this $350 mystery outfit. I have my shoes on, I have the shades, I have the t-shirt, I have the pants. But don't take my word for it that it's good. Don't do that. You know what? I'm gonna call one of my friends and I'm gonna pretend that I'm gifting her something. She likes LV, so I'm gonna clean these bad boys up. And I'm gonna invite her over and I'm gonna tell her that I got her a little surprise. Let's see if she falls for it. If she falls for it, that means this mystery box passed the test. Like I said, I've invited my friend over and I'm gonna surprise her with this replica LV shade. I'm gonna tell her it's real. Is she gonna find out it's fake? We're gonna see. We're gonna have to pack these bad boys up like it's factory. This is back the way it begins for my friend. Next thing you see, I'm gonna be surprising my friend with fake LV and hopefully she thinks it's real. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, 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 she's here, she's here. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome, welcome, welcome. By the way, why do you think I called you today? I have no idea. Tell me. But I have a surprise for you. Okay. You like Louis Vuitton, don't you? Who doesn't? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Ta-da! No way. You got me LV, Alden. What do you think? Unbox it. What do you think these are? These are sunglasses, by the way. I really need sunglasses. Hey. Okay, try them on. <gasps> How much do these cost? Don't worry about it. Don't. Just tell me you like Stop. it or not. Stop. How much? Really? I mean, it was like a thousand US. No way. Did you like it? I love that. I love you. You're my bestie. <laughs> hey. I will keep them forever. Hey guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Smash the like button. And as always, keep spreading the love and always pursue your happiness. Hey, these glasses are hella. You're joking. <laughs> you 